Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Chrissy here. And it's time for a DVD and Blu-ray update for February 13th, 2024. As of today, I got two DVDs and three Blu-rays from Amazon. With that being said, I'm going to start off by showing you guys the first two DVDs right here. And the first DVD I got is going to be on the, the 2016 horror slasher movie, Terrifier. Released in the year 2016 and was officially released in 2018. The runtime is 84 minutes and it's not rated. But judging by, by but judging by the way this movie looked when I when I first watched it on Amazon for for Halloween spooky season last October, it's definitely a wild movie. It's 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 a good movie, but but also but also a very wild horror movie as well. A, a very wild slasher film, and I and I can tell this prob this movie would probably get, would pro would probably be rated R or NC seventeen. Like if you watch the movie carefully. And easily the best part about the Terrifier films is definitely Art the Clown. David Howard Thornton's performance is, is spectacular. Yeah. And that's the first Terrifier. And the second DVD is going to be on the second Terrifier film released in 2022. Terrifier 2. Comes in a slip cover. Not rated, but I can definitely tell this would this movie would probably be just like the first movie. It would probably be R rated or NC seventeen rated, because 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 ter because when I watched Terrifier two last October for Halloween, the the, the second Terrifier is actually really wild. It's 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 really bloody and also really gory too. It's got some like like very wild gory parts and and this this is probably this it's probably that kind of movie where you you would probably you you would probably not want to watch. If you're eating or something, but yeah. Bonus features include behind the scenes of Terrifier 2 and stars David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown. And it's also in association with Bloody Disgusting. Yeah. And and yes, I also heard they're making a third Terrifier film as well. And the third Terrifier film, Terrifier 3, is gonna be set around Christmas. Yeah. But right now we got this movie I I got on DVD, Terrifier 2. And that's Terrifier 2. All right, and that's going to be it for, for the Terrifier DVDs. Now, on with the Blu-rays. The first Blu-ray I got from Amazon, and these are actually the last three that I got from Amazon today. And so the first Blu-ray I got for today's media update is the 2023 MCU movie, The Marvels. Despite its flaws this movie had, this was a pretty pretty decent film in my opinion, despite its flaws, like I said. Rated PG-13, and the runtime is 105 minutes. Yeah. I saw this movie in theaters by myself when I had a cold, like when, when, when my voice felt scratchy. And, yeah. I mean, I thought it was pretty good for the most part, despite its flaws, like I just said again. <laughs> but I gotta say... The best MCU film that came out this year, that came out in 2023 last year, is definitely Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah. But but I can see why but I can see how the Marvels flopped at the box office. Yeah. Becoming becoming MCU's lowest grossing film. So that's the Marvels on Blu-ray. The only the only MCU movie we're getting this year in 2024 is actually Deadpool and Wolverine, which I'm really looking forward to checking that out. Yeah, and speaking of which, I just I just revisited the first two Deadpool films, and they're both and they're both still awesome films. Anyway, next Blu-ray I got is the A24 movie Priscilla, written and directed by Sofia Coppola. Whatever you want to pronounce her last name, my my apologies. 
this is a new this is a new Elvis Presley movie from A twenty four, from from the same woman who directed Lost in Translation with Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson, which I really love that movie by the way. Priscilla's R rated, and the runtime is one hundred thirteen minutes. I watched Priscilla on demand, and 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 I and I liked it. I actually, I actually thought thought I I actually really loved it. Like you know, I enjoyed it for the most part for an A twenty four film. And that's Priscilla. If I had to pick between between Priscilla and the 2022 Elvis Elvis movie with um with Austin Butler and Tom Hanks, which one would I pick? I think that's kind of hard to say since I I really love both films. But I would have to say I think I enjoyed the Elvis Presley. I, I think I enjoyed the Austin Butler Elvis Presley film a little bit more than this. But even though I did give Priscilla five out of five, but I still enjoyed both films regardless. So that's Priscilla. And the last Blu-ray I got from Amazon today is the, the new Hunger Games film, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Read a PG-13, and the runtime is 157, 157 minutes. Yeah, there you go. And <clears throat> excuse me. And the movie stars Rachel Ziegler, um, Viola Davis, and Peter Dinklage. With music score by James Newton Howard. Yeah, I saw this movie with with my dad like, in last November, and 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 I and I and I liked it. I I thought the Hunger Games: The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes was a was a a pretty enjoyable prequel to the Hunger Games films. And yes, and, and and if you're and in case you guys are wondering, my favorite Hunger Games film is actually the 2013 film Catching Fire. Cuz 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 after seeing this movie, I watched all the Hunger Games films and yeah, they they're, they're enjoyable films. Just one minute, guys. I have to get the, the slip cover back in. I'm having a tough time getting through. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So that's the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for this DVD and Blu-ray update for February 13th, 2024. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to like this video as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.